If you want to use the ping command on macOS, then you have come to the right video. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen, and in this video we're going to be using the ping command on macOS. If you want to know more about ping in some detail, then please do press up here uh, to a link on another video that I produced, which basically describes in some detail what ping is used for with regards to network testing and ethical hacking. So let's get over to my computer where you can have a look at the ping command on macOS. Okay, so now that you're at your computer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the search icon and type in terminal and open up a terminal window. And once you've opened up the terminal window, we can start with the basics. So what we're going to start with is just the ping command. So if you type in ping and type in the address of your router, for example, so we'll type in 192.168.0.1, hit enter. And what this will do is this will ping uh, this address until you tell it to stop. Uh, it's very similar to Linux. So you have to press uh, control and C and then you can stop. What you can see here is the results of this pinging session. So we can see here the size of the ping. Uh, this can be changed, although the default is pretty fine. Uh, the place that you tried to ping, which, which in this case was the router. The sequence number. Now the sequence number is just one after another. I stopped this at nine. So as you can see here, uh, sequence zero to nine, so 10 in total. And then the time it took for each ping there. And at the bottom, you have the collated ping statistics, 10 packets sent, transmitted, 10 received, 0% packet loss. So that's pretty much the basics of a standard ping command. Press Control, Command and L to reset the screen. As with Linux and macOS, the ping command will continue forever until you tell it to stop. So if you type in ping and then a dash and a C, and then after that type in a number. So in this case, we'll type in 10. And then type in the place you want to ping. 192.168.0.1, hit enter, and this will ping the amount of times you specify in the action that you put on top, which is dash C, which it stands for count, and this will ping 10 times, as you can see here. So you can use that command if you want to ping for a certain amount of time uh, without forgetting about it later. Now, another really good way to uh, diagnose problems and another good option for ping is to use the root command. So what you would do is you would type in ping dash and a capital R in this case, and then type an address you want to go to. So if we type in the router address for my, for my network, for example, and hit enter, and then I'm gonna cancel this after a couple of routes. There you go. So I've done this. Now you can see here the route that it took and what this basically does is record the hops or bounces that it makes to get to where it wants to go the way you've told it to go uh, and back again. Now since this is on the same router it's only going to do one bounce. So it's gone from my machine which is the my IP address that I have to my local router which is a uh, udm pro as you can see here it's got a local domain name and 192.168.0.1 and then bounced again back to my mac pro device here 192.168.0.90 this is quite useful for diagnosing various problems more on a large scale networks but certainly very helpful the dash c command and the dash uh, capital r command are probably the two most common um, ping commands to use for diagnosing problems. If you press control command and L again to reset. If you type in ping dash H and hit enter, you'll get a bunch of default uh, options that you can add on top of the ping command. Um, some of these are very similar to Linux. Uh, Mac OS and Linux share a base in uh, some networking uh, technology. So some of them are very similar. Um, and you can see some of the helpful ones here, but not all of them are listed here. The uh, capital R, the root command, for example, is not listed in this. So that's just an example. Another option you might end up getting when using the ping command is you may get some kind of timeout. I'll show you an example of this. I'm going to ping an address on my network that I know doesn't exist. So I'm going to ping 192.168.0.200. Now I know this address doesn't exist. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see here, it's gonna keep timing out until I stop it. So I sent five in total, zero to four, although I didn't quite finish the last one. Five packets transmitted, zero packets received, 
100% packet loss. Now this is a fairly common response but this tells me that this uh, server or device is not on. Now as I said I know that no device on my network has this IP address so I know that this device won't respond. From an ethical hacking perspective the ping command is really important and one of the first tools to use. As mentioned in the other video, which I'll link up uh, at the top of this video, um, which goes into the ping command in a bit more detail and what you can use it for. So if you type in ping 192.168.0.1. Now we know that this is going to respond because this is my router. So now I cancel this request and I can see I send and I receive. So from an ethical hacking perspective, this is a really important first step because what this tells me as a ethical hacker that this device exists. I can see this device via networking and that's a really important uh, step because it means that it is a valid target uh, to scan and test and potentially exploit. If I were to type in 192, uh, type in ping 192.168.0.200 as we know this won't respond. So what we'll do is I'll cancel this and it says here there's no route to the host for example it doesn't exist it's trying to get there nothing actually happens three packets transmitted zero received 100 percent packet loss what this is now telling me is that there isn't anything here and if i cannot see it on any kind of networking parameters uh, such as just pinging it there are two things that could be potentially causing that now obviously i know that the server doesn't exist so it's obviously not doesn't exist it's off it also could be the firewall could be blocking the request but as a potential ethical hacker as a security analysis for example this now is not a valid target um that it doesn't exist i cannot see it and if i can't see it with the most basic commands on networking it's going to be almost impossible to uh, discover anything else on the IP address unless it's hidden in a very special way. So I get no response as a potential intruder or as an ethical hacker for defense purposes. This is now a non-valid target. So I can rule this one out. Now in ethical hacking you would use a um, IP address scan kind of range but that does flag things on networks and it's going to be a topic for a later video but you can test different addresses. So if I were to test like ping 192.168.0.100 I know I have a, a server that sits on this so I cancel that I can see I get a response great now I can test 101 test 101 and I get a timeout you see we can go through this one by one and you can find out which services are actually available for me to see now when it comes to using the arguments or extensions and uh, options for ping be warned that some network administrators turn off certain uh, options for security purposes so you won't always get the same response when using some of the commands uh, a common one is the root command uh, because typically network administrators want to mask or hide uh, the network layout uh, as an example if i type in ping uh, dash capital r and we are going to do the ping command with the root argument added on to Cloudflare's uh, DNS server, which is 1.1.1.1. So hit enter, and what's going to happen is it's going to time out. Now the server isn't down because if we ping just 1.1.1 without the argument, we get a response, as you can see here. So with the argument, we got a 100% packet loss because that argument was specifically uh, rejected by a firewall in between my computer and the Cloudflare DNS, it could be some steps before, but some firewall or router somewhere is specifically blocking this request. But when I ping it without it, we get 100% of the packets received, 0% packet loss. So um, using these is a good way to test out uh, certain networks as well, especially from an ethical hacking perspective. If you are getting rejected pings, um, even without the arguments, then you know that the uh, network security administrators have done their homework. So this is a good indication of testing mm, network security um, uh, design, uh, but it's not obviously foolproof, but it's a really good way to figure out like if the network is going to be um, have a certain level of security expected. So as mentioned, uh, this cover the basics use for ping uh, in network testing and in ethical hacking. If you want 
in more detail about what you can use ping for and some detailed uh, stuff about ethical hacking when it comes to using ping uh, again the video at the top of this video will take you there um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please do like the video if you do like it uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, you like the content from me and I will see you in the next video